Hello, this is Mark Allen from Scan Texas. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to design a simple application for the Zebra Fixed Industrial Scanning Solution. We're going to be using the FS40 scanner today, although we could just as well have been using the FS70 or the FS10 or the FS20, any one of the four members of the Zebra Fixed Industrial Scanner. I have it set up for a USB connection, but it's really doing IP over USB. Also have set up here for power over Ethernet because USB doesn't give us quite enough power for this. Okay, so let's get started. Inside the Zebra Aurora software, first thing we're going to do is click View Device. Ask it to go find the scanner. Here we can click on its IP address to call up a browser session with the HMI interface. This is an interface that's designed to be displayed if you want it to, to display ongoing information about the scanner, temperature, how well it's working, etc. But back on the programming of the scanner, once we connect to the scanner, we're going to edit it and then look at some of the different scanner settings. Here's some different device details. Here's communication where we could set it up to have an IP address. For today's demo, we're just going to do HID keyboard interface, select a North American keyboard. Now, Let's go to create a new job, meaning a new program for the scan. Call it test. All right, so now we're into the actual scanning system setup. Let's click the acquisition button. We scanned a barcode. You can see it flash, scans a barcode, shows what the data is. In an Aurora application, you're going to have some settings you do in the capture part of the program, the build part, the connect part, and then we're going to deploy it down to the scanner. Inside here, we have triggers. Today, we're just going to do a continuous application where it's continuously looking for a barcode, although we could have it set for one of the other, like a photo cell, or waiting for a trigger input from a PLC. In the acquisition settings, we have one of my favorite features, the barcode auto-tune button, where click a button, have the scanner flash, go through all of the different settings on focus and gain, so I don't have to be a camera expert, and it can find out what the best setting is. So here, when I click on it, you can see we have six uh, pixels per module. So what that means is we want to have as many dots as possible per narrow bar on a one-dimensional code or a dot on a two-dimensional. So now that we've done the barcode auto-tune, you can see we're getting a pretty fast capture in about three or four milliseconds. When we specify some of the build parameters, we can specify settings specify which symbologies that we want to allow. We have a 10-digit code 128 barcode we're using today, but we can specify whatever range we want to use. Now for data formatting, we do want to click the button to have it add an enter key after every bit of scanned data. Here on the, and then also many code allows you to specify to scan multiple barcodes per image capture, even though today we're just scanning here on the Connect tab, we'll talk about some outputs, like what we want to do to save each scan or each bad scan in the scanner or send it out to an FTP server. So now, let's deploy it to the scanner. Let's also call up Notepad. And as we move the barcode in and out to activate a trigger, we can see it scanning it. Scanning it inside the Aurora software. And as well, we're seeing it scan here inside the HMI interface, which could be set up to display on a monitor near the scanning interface. So folks, that's it. We have created an entire application to scan data, send it out via USB into an application, add an enter key, and we've tuned exactly for this barcode at this range. If you'd like to get more information on how Scan Texas can help you with fixed scanning applications, please click the link below or contact us at ScanTexas.com. Thank you.